me start with the diagram. This is a rod. Okay, we have like this. Now, when I raise the temperature, the rod really wants to expand it. At the same time, at the same time, if the rod expands, the spring will undergo compression. The the spring force will also come into picture. So definitely, the elongation, the rod will be less than the elongation due to thermal expansion. What it should have. So here, here I'll, I'll go for a diagram. The, the initial no oh, this is some very important <coughs> thing I brought it this was the initial length the rod actually wanted to expand till here but but it is permitted to expand uh, and this is the expansion of the compression of the spring this is the elongation of the rod due to rise in temperature this is temperature T1 this is T2 if the spring were not there the rod would have expanded till here but because of spring force the rod is not permitted to expand till here uh, and look at the spring it got compressed so what is actually the elongation of the rod now delta L minus X and, and this L naught. Oh, oh, every everyone will is able to understand. It's a very simple. The diagram is very important. Once you can get this diagram, rest all everything you can manage. No, what was the question that is asked? Then the stress developed in the rod stress developed in the rod stress means the force set up in the rod let, let me go for change in length of the rod change in length of the rod this should be equal to L naught alpha delta theta let me use delta theta only minus x this was the change in length no delta l you call it now how, how you define x modulus x modulus should be equal to stress by strain now who will balance the stress developed in the rod the spring force the spring force will act in this direction and the stress developed in the rod will be F let's call this one so what should be the stress here stress should be equal to Y into strain will write it strain will be delta L naught delta L by L naught into L naught L naught alpha delta theta minus X okay this was the stress so the stress what you write F by E Y L naught L naught alpha delta T minus six. So for equilibrium at equilibrium F should be equal to KX. So what is F is equal to Y A L naught L naught alpha delta theta minus six equal to KX.
okay all together i'll find out the value of x uh, the value of x will be l not alpha theta minus x equal to k l not y a x so many symbols okay we go the the competition the spring then then i i will equate like this this f should be equal to k x at equilibrium now i'll substitute the value of this k is equal to K L not plus Y A. Check one sir. Stress is asking no. F by A is what the stress. Uh, this is very important formula because most of the numericals what we picked up is all the rod will elongate or rod will not elongate here it is having a partial elongation it is not permitted fully to expand that's why i just picked up this problem what all we have thermal expansion is either the rod will be permitted to expand freely or will not be permitted but here partially it is allowed to expand this call it a yielding of the rod if you look at the civil engineer no we just call this as a yield i think it's all revolves around this diagram i feel like everything revolves around this diagram some of student can uh, get this diagram you can write this equation what actually goes on here the rod wants to expand okay the spring will oppose it definitely when the rod is not permitted to freely expand so therefore the total elongation of the rod should be less than the free thermal expansion this is a background if it is there no then okay fine you can manage 